So the next thing on the menu is to remove this 16 millimeter ball joint studs. What we need to do right now is to put the car in neutral and you'll see why. So this type of bolts are an M8 multi spline sockets. Okay, so this is out. So the remaining part is left in there. Welcome back to today's video. So in today's video, we need to get this in there and we need to take this out of there. So in order to get this in there, the drive shaft has to come out. So in order to take the drive shaft out, we'll need to get to remove this bolt. After removing this bolt, put the drive shaft out. And after pushing the drive shaft out, we need to get onto these bolts right there. I'll see if I can be able to get the CV boot in without having to take out the drive shaft. But if I have to take out the drive shaft, I think it's best I do that. So before I continue the video, hit that subscribe button real quick, real fast. Now let's get in it. So just before I loosen this bolt, I like to get something just to counter hold the disc so that it doesn't spin. So I'm going to be putting this Allen key right in there just to make sure that the brake doesn't spin. So I'm going to be using a 27 millimeter socket. Here's the bolt. So the next thing on the menu is to remove this 16 millimeter ball joint studs. These are 16 millimeters. Those are out. What we need to do right now is to put the car in neutral and you'll see why. So make sure that your car is supported by everything. So, okay. The car is on neutral. The handbrake is up. So the drive shaft is held in by this type of bolt. So these type of bolts are an M8 multi spline socket. As you can see. So right now I'll be trying to get the drive shaft out. I'll then have to pull down the control arm, then have some flexibility on pulling the shock out. As you can see, the shock is still brand new. So to see how to install a shock on your car, please click on the corner right there. So now let me remove the control arm. You know, this seems to be out. Okay, so this is out. Okay, so I've now removed the drive shaft. I'm not sure if you're able to see it because I'm using two hands right here. Okay, change of plans. So I'm thinking I'm not going to take out the whole drive shaft because I don't think I need to. What I'm going to take out is this sway bar right here or the drop link because I need to get it out of here so that I can be able to have more flexibility when I pull the drive shaft out because I think I can be able to pull the CV joint out with the drive shaft right in here so I don't think I need to take out the whole drive shaft right now what I'm going to do is just to put the car onto gear number one right now so that we don't have the drive shaft spinning because it's on neutral right now so to get the CV joint without having to hammer it out you need to be get this bolt in when you get the bolt in then when you're getting it further in it will then pull the CV joint out but I think I'm running out of threads here and this is still not coming out okay so now I've decided to use a number nine socket I'm just gonna put it in there Okay, so with that style of taking the CV joint out, this is the part which was damaged. This part was no longer holding on here, so the remaining part is left in there. This is how the CV joint was now spilling all the grease out. So if you can see right here, the place is just so black to show that something is wrong. So now I'm going to take the new CV boot and show you how to replace it. So I've just used the brake clean to clean all the grease, which is not perfect but i think it's not that bad so here's how clean i got it to be so now what i need to do is to remove the old clip which held the boot in then i'm going to then get the new boot in then clip it as well so okay we got this loose now what's left is to go ahead and start assembling the new joint let me get the old boot out so here's how the CV boot got cut. It was left hanging by this thing. So now we have to unclip this joint as well. Okay, so this is now out. Oh, 
so when I took out the boot, it came out with this. This is called this. I forgot what it's called. This is called a thrust washer. So the seat clip is left inside the shaft itself. So this has to be clean. So as you can see, the boot was not really bad because the grease was still inside. But the only part which got cut off is this part. So now what I need to do is just to get this grease out and get the new grease in. So this is a very dirty job, man. So right now I'm just trying to spray this brake clean right here just to get the excess uh oil or grease out because i don't think i can clean it any better than this i think this is the best i can do guys so now we're back in the car so the first thing we're going to get inside is this clip or the band so the band goes in first then this boot comes second because we'll need to make sure that the boot fits so i'm going to put this so that i can be able to roll it in because without putting something on here these boots are so tight so you won't be able to push it further so you need to get something which is going to make it easier for the boot to slide further backwards okay okay this one seems to be going in fine so this one is fine so i'm gonna get it a little bit back just here so this is where it's going to sit now i have to put this band so this band is very different from the ones that i'm used to so you need this type of plier to get this band in so i'm going to show you how to use this type of plier very well so this piece right here needs to go in through here so there's an opening here you need to get it through and get it underneath and get it through this way so when you get it through this way you'll need to get it in through the next part then after getting getting it in through the next part you need to just bend it a bit down then it goes out just like that what's going to happen right now is that this lever right here we're going to be spinning this lever and when we're spinning this lever it's going to allow us to tighten the boot so when it allows us to tighten the boot then we're going to make sure that the boot is tight and when it's tight we're then going to bend it through here so right now i'm turning this lever i'm turning this lever right here just to make sure that the boot is tight and i can feel that the boot is tight right now so what i'm going to do is just to bend it right here while holding this lever and then after that turn this lever right here just to cut where you want to make the bend so that's it this is now cut so when it's cut like that just get something maybe a hammer if you can just to hit this here so that it holds on it needs to hold on here then after that there's some two things which are on the sides here so you need to get those to bend inside so you just need to pull them with a plier if you can so i'm going to use a long nose plier because it's going to be able to show you what i'm doing pull these two tabs right out right in here pull them towards each other like that get it with the armor the other one is bent so it's in and i'm going to hit it on the other side So I'm not sure if you can see that these two lips right here are bent inside. Right now I'm just going to tap them in so that they embrace each other. So these are in here. This is where they meet and this is where you bend the CV bend or CV clamp. So it can hold the CV boot. So now that that is done, we're going to push the CV boot back. I'm not sure if what I'm doing is supposed to be done, but... We need to get the, I forgot the name, dished spring. So it's called a dished spring. It goes in like this. So look at the orientation. The part which seems like it's sloping down goes in the back just like this. So it goes in and sits in here. Then we have the thrust washer. So it sits on top of the dished spring just like this. Goes in like this. 
this is how it's supposed to be now what needs to come on right now is the cv joint itself so there's a seat clip right here if you don't see it there's a seat clip which is supposed to hold the joint from coming out so i need to work this joint in <laughs> Okay, now let me try to work it with a hammer and see if it can slide in. When I try to pull it out, as you can see, it's not coming out. I'm confident that it's in, so what I need to do right now is just to get the boot inside. So what we need to do right now is just to get the other bend in. It's getting a little bit tight. I think it's it. It is tight. So now that it's this far, you can just bend it like this after bending it like this just cut it just need to twist this lever then you cut it now that we've cut it what i need to do is just to make sure that i bend it back just bend this uh, this is damaged i don't know how hmm? this thing is damaged no it was too tight you think so mm. After getting a CV band which got fucked up, well, I fucked it up. I then went to get another one with, which is this one. This is the best ones that you can have. So, this band is put on like this. It's well seated on the groove. Get it tight. Make sure that it sits in the groove where it needs to. Then get it clipped in. Because this CV band is different from the one that I was using before, the ply which you need to use is also different. This thing right here makes sure that this part does not go up because it will be pushing down on it when you are trying to clamp it. So now I'm just going to get this on. I think this is as tight as it can be. Try to hammer it down a bit. Just for the final touches, because I like to verify stuff. Yeah, so everything is tight. So the CV boot is now done. This is never coming up. So now what I need to do is just to get the CV XL back inside, then tighten everything up. So the way which I took everything out is exactly the way I'm going to take everything back. So I'm not sure if you'll need to watch that, but if you want to watch that, you'll just watch me do it in very fast motion. So I'm going to fast forward everything. So if you can see the drive shaft is spinning and the brake disc is spinning as well so it means the cv joint is well intact so now we can get everything back together so that's it for today's video guys and thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and supporting the channel we've just hit 500 subscribers this week and i think that's a huge milestone and it's all because you are watching the channel and also subscribing to the channel so thank you much for watching <sighs> Fuck. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way I've swallowed something guys